Game number three of the National League Championship Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Atlanta Braves. And the Reds have gone out to a 2-0 series lead so far in this NLCS and are two games away from returning to the World Series. But now this series shifts to Truist Park here in Atlanta, Georgia. And for the Reds, they are undefeated so far in this 2028 postseason campaign. They are 5-0 after a three-game sweep of the St. Louis Cardinals and, of course, winning back-to-back -back games over in Ohio. They now turn to this game three, trying to make it 6-0 with this win here in game number three. For Cincinnati, they will throw their righty in Brian Wu. And for the Braves, they will pitch the former Baltimore Oriole in Grayson Rodriguez. Speaking of the Baltimore Orioles, they are still alive in the American American League side of things here in this 2028 postseason. They are currently going at it with the Houston Astros. That series is currently two to nothing in favor of the O's, who look like to be the favorite right now in the American League. And folks, if you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for some more Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on the channel. If you missed both games one and two, game one was won by the Reds by a score of four to one. Game two was four to Cincinnati. So, so far, the magic number has been four in terms of runs for the Reds. TJ Friedel will lead things off against Grayson Rodriguez, and there is Rodriguez to start so far in the postseason. He's gone 14 and two-thirds innings and has not allowed a run. Rodriguez has been that dominant for Atlanta as TJ Friedel will hit one off of the glove of the leaping Dominic Fletcher, and Fletcher will make the play over to Grayson Rodriguez for the first out of this ball game. And now Ellie De La Cruz will pop out into left. In foul ground is Nick Gordon. Here comes Bryce Harper coming into today, batting 158 in the postseason. It has not been his run so far. Bryce, though, hits one 103 off the bat, but straight to the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. Here is Brian Wu, pitched all right in game number three in the NLDS against the Cardinals. Got the win in that game. Let's see what he does here in game number three in the NLCS. He'll get two quick outs. Kyle Tucker's the second and Ronald Acuna Jr. on the ground to his former teammate, Matt Olson. It's a one, two, three, bottom of the first. We go to the top of the second. Jordan Alvarez leading things off for the Reds. He's been so good in this playoffs. Alvarez now over 300 with his postseason average. There's a single to lead off the inning. Matt Olson now in his return in the postseason to Truist Park will strike out. Will Benson will stare at ball four. So first and second one out for Spencer Steer. But Steer gets blown by 100 on the gun by Rod. Rodriguez, two down for Francisco Alvarez, and he will strike out on a circle change. To the bottom of the second, Brian Wu will pitch to Austin Riley. Riley will extend the bat and swing and a miss on a slider. Here comes Dominic Fletcher. Gonna hit one high in the air, but straight to Bryce Harper. Two down for the sixth spot. That is Nick Gordon on the one-two pitch. Gordon swing and a miss on a cutter as we go on to the top of the third. Matt McLean leading things off here for the Reds. Did he go? They say he does. Strike three swinging for McLean as the top of the order comes up. TJ Friedel just going to push one in a shallow left center. But Ha Sung Kim with an amazing play to take one away. And Ellie Taylor Cruz strikes out. Making 17 and two-thirds innings of scoreless baseball so far for Grayson Rodriguez here in the postseason. Let's see if his squad though can get him some run support. Sean Murphy leads off the inning with a single, bringing up Brenton Rogers in the one-two. Wu though has been dealing with that slider. Dylan Cruz now in the one-two pitch puts one on the ground past Spencer Steer. Back-to-back -back singles in the inning for the Braves. First and second, one out for Ha Seong Kim on the one-two pitch. Kim on the ground. Spencer Steer over to Matt McLean. McLean to Olsen. The Reds turn two, and that does it for the third inning. On the top of the fourth, Bryce Harper leading things off. He gets blown by with a fastball. Rodriguez now, 18 innings of scoreless baseball. And he will get your Don Alvarez looking. Don't know about that call, but Matt Olson gonna put one against the shift into left field. 107 exit velo off the bat. Matt Olson's on with a two out double, making way for Will Benson with a runner in scoring position on the 2 2 pitch. Benson, though, can't pull the trigger on the circle change as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Kyle Tucker finally checking into the series with a base knock. He rips one down the left field line. He will stay put, though, at first base for Ronald Acuna Jr. Tucker running ball on the ground Spencer Steer tries to go to second Tucker's safe the Reds though will get the out at first one down a runner on at second for Austin Riley that ball smoked into center field but straight to TJ Friedel Tucker stays put at second base two gone five spot up Dominic Fletcher the first baseman on the 2-2 swing and a miss 
Woo sets him down with the slider. We go to the top of the fifth, still scoreless, as Spencer Steer, though, will lead off the inning with a single. He did get jammed, but that is enough to get down. Steer on first base for Francisco Alvarez. Alvarez on the ground, a diving play, and a great turn by the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. 4-6-3, two gone in the inning. Matt McClain now, though, going to drive one into deep left field. That ball is going to get off of the wall. Dylan Cruz going to play it. Here comes Matt McClain, rounding second to third. He's in there with a two-out triple. A huge spot for the leadoff man, TJ Friedel. Pitch 90 for Grayson Rodriguez, and he's going to get out the jam. 19 and two-thirds innings of scoreless baseball for Grayson Rodriguez here in the playoffs. And yet this game is still tied, though, here in game three. Nick Gordon, though, going to get one to fall on the right. He is on with a leadoff double for Atlanta. Sean Murphy, the catcher on the 1-1, going to take an excuse me swing, but it's going to be good enough to move Gordon up to third. Runner 90 feet away with one out for Brendan Rodgers. Rodgers hits one in the air. Left center, Friedel takes it, but Nick Gordon will be able to tag and the Braves take a one to nothing lead here in the bottom of the fifth. Dylan Cruz comes up. He chops it to Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie with the arm and the speed will put him away. But Atlanta again takes a lead going into the top of the sixth. Grayson Rodriguez will stay out there for Ellie De La Cruz. Make it now 20 innings of scoreless baseball for Grayson Rodriguez and counting. He strikes out Bryce Harper. Jordan Alvarez on pitch 102 is another K for Rodriguez. He's thrown 20 more pitches than Brian Wu, but he's got his team with the lead here in the sixth inning. And don't get me wrong, Wu's doing a tremendous job. He'll strike out Kyle Tucker after striking out Ha Sung Kim. He will, though, give up a double to Ronald Acuna Jr. That's actually going to get over the wall. Acuna, with an automatic double, will bring in Michael Kopech from the bullpen. Here we have nine. He just gave up one run in one inning. Kopech will see Austin Riley on the 3-1 pitch. Riley into center field, and that ball is going to be caught by TJ Freed. So the Reds have nine outs to work with down the stretch of this game, and Andrew Abbott makes another appearance here in this NLCS. The lefty will see Matt Olson first in the 1-1 pitch, and Olson will ground one to Dominic Fletcher at first. One down in the inning. Here comes Will Benson on the full count. Abbott deals former teammates going at it right there. A bobble by Dominic Fletcher at first base, but he will get it over to Abbott in time. Two outs for Spencer Steer. On the 1-2, he will strike out on the circle change. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Still 1-0 for Atlanta. Dominic Fletcher leads things off. He's going to hit that ball in the air to TJ Friedel. By the way, Kopech still in the game pitching for Cincinnati. Nick Gordon has scored the only run in this game, and he will walk now with one out. Gordon on first for Sean Murphy on the 1-1 pitch. Murphy hits one into right. That ball is going to get down. It will be extra bases for him. Gordon rounding second, going to third. Bryce Harper does get it in. Probably maybe could add Murphy at second base. Instead, the Reds throw home. Second and third, one out. Bruised our Gratterall, the former Brave, comes out to pitch. Can Gratterall keep this one at one nothing? Brendan Rodgers, did he go on the cutter? He did. Two gone after the strikeout. Dylan Cruz on the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Bruce Star Gratterall on the sinker as Albert Alzole comes out to pitch the top of the eighth for the Braves. He will get Francisco Alvarez first on a full count. Alvarez walks. Okay, eighth inning, we bring in the pinch runner, Esteiri Ruiz, the former athletic. He will pinch run as Matt McLean steps in the box, and there we go, Ruiz swipes second. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Matt McLean puts one on the ground. It's ahead of the runner, but Ruiz will still get to third. We'll take it. It's all we could have asked for. Runner 90 feet away for TJ Friedel. Balls on the ground. It does not get past Alzole at the mound. It keeps Ruiz at third. And Ellie De La Cruz gets jammed on a fastball. And Alzole and the Braves get out of the jam. Runner on second. No outs. Runner on third with one out. And Atlanta is still up 1 0. Ha Sung Kim leads off the bottom of the eighth with a single. Actually going for two. Oh my goodness, he's safe. Gets around the tag. Another leadoff extra base knock for Atlanta. Here comes Kyle Tucker, lining one at two left. TJ Friedel's out there now with Estee Ruiz staying in the game in center. We took out Will Benson because it's fine. He's not probably going to come back up anyway. So Mitch Garver's buying the dish. Again, we're going to get out the inning. Gratterall doing a good job after allowing it that leadoff double. But now it all comes down to the top of the ninth. 
Edwin Diaz is the closer for the Braves. Bryce Harper first, strike three looking. Here comes Jordan Alvarez. He's one for three tonight. Make it one for four. Another strikeout. The last hope is the former Brave, Matt Olson, on the full count. Diaz deals. Strike three swing. My goodness. Diaz is gross. And Grayson Rodriguez continues his shutout streak here in the 2028 postseason. He has now gone 20 and two thirds innings of shutout baseball so far to kick off this postseason run. The question is, will he get another chance to pitch in this series? The Braves would have to win one more time to ensure that happens. But man, that guy is good. And you know, we couldn't get anything going off the bullpen either. Again, you can't win a game if you score zero runs. And that's exactly what the Reds did tonight. Only four hits, um, got out hit by the Braves seven to four. It is what it is. It happens. The Reds were 5-0 going into this game here in the 2028 postseason. They are finally going to get got. The Braves beat them here in game number three. But again, the Reds still up 2-1 in the series, and they'll look to bounce back in game number four um, in a couple days' time. So, folks, thank you all for watching episode number 95 of the Cincinnati Reds Franchise Mode here on MLB The Show 24. If you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you leave a like if you are enjoying the series so far. Good folks, thank you all for watching. And Mamba, forever.